I'm sure you have heard claims from really popular people in the wellness community that you think to yourself, that's such bullshit, right? What are some of these false claims that get repeated and echoed so much in, in this community that as a neurosurgeon and, and scientist and researcher, you think to your, you, you think to yourself, this is you guys are not as informed as you think you are. There's certain fundamental truths about how our physiology works, and these have been recognized. But because of lack of knowledge, they carry baggage with them, typically of that culture. And you can go back to the first and second century, the Hermetics, and on up to the sort of the period of New Thought, and most recently to Rhonda Byrne, in terms of all these narratives that one define something called the law of attraction. And it's basically what energy you put out, you get back. There's a universe out there and the universe cares about you. And it's waiting for these positive thoughts to emanate from you. And they, and the universe will absorb it and reward you. And as I stated earlier, that's complete bullshit. The other aspect is that in some ways it can result in a guilt narrative. The reason it didn't happen is because you really didn't want it that bad or you didn't deserve it. So now it's victim shaming. And all of this is completely untrue. Again, if somebody wants to apply woo and make statements like, have you ever heard of the flying spaghetti monster? Mm -mm. Okay. There's certain tenets that are essentially present in almost every religion. And so this group of scientists decided to use that information to create their own religion. So it's called the flying spaghetti monster. And there's a whole origin story and how the flying spaghetti monster created the world. And it's typical, typically depicted as a colander, like for holding spaghetti. <laughs> and mm -hmm. the spaghetti is overflowing. <laughs> And in fact, because of freedom of religion, there was an individual who got his driver's license picture wearing a spaghetti colander on his head because that's his religious practice. My point being that you can say anything you want. And if you understand it's all made up, but it's like placebo effect, even though it's not true and you get something out of it, I'm for all for it. But don't act like that is truth when it's not whatsoever. I would say that this idea about chasing after what you want, that's the problem with that is that it's not helpful and it's a dead end. And that's what I don't like about the secret because it plays into, in many ways, the Western capitalist narrative of chasing success meaning that somehow will make you happy and getting those things, all the things I or want. comfort, yeah. Yeah, it's not going to make you feel whole. And the problem is, if you look, unfortunately, how our society has been structured, it is all about me. In fact, there was even an educational initiative that said, okay, if there's a race, every kid who entered should be given an award. That's ridiculous. Life doesn't work that way. Whether I like it or you like it, they're winners, they're losers, and that's just it. And to be a winner or to achieve requires practice, habit formation, showing up every day. Then you develop neural pathways, and then that allows you to win the race. It's not like laying in bed in the morning and go, all those other guys are practicing, but I'm just going to lay here because I'm, gonna get, I'm just waiting to get my medal. Then it, that's not going to happen. And uh, so we created, unfortunately, a generation of children who feel very entitled for doing nothing. As a result, somehow people think that we're just going to sit here and everything's going to manifest. You have to practice and you have to show up. This self-focused narrative, because it only activates the sympathetic nervous system and plays into people's fears and anxieties and insecurities, that's not going to help them. They need to be focused on understanding what they really want is, and that's to be of service because that will activate all the positive mechanisms in their brain and in their bodies to be their best selves. And by doing so, you can get all the other stuff if you really want it at that point. And listen, I tell people I'm not anti-materialistic. I drive a Porsche. I live in a very nice house. 
My point is, though, if all of that is gone tomorrow, it's okay. I have thoroughly enjoyed it. I have appreciated it. I have much gratitude for it. But if it's not there, that's perfectly fine. My mental state will not change whatsoever. If you like that video, you're going to love the next one. Click this thumbnail right here, and I'll see you over there.